transform your 15 TB bed from this to this. Hey guys, welcome back. This is our ePro 15 TB, and this is our new east to west bed that goes from one side of the camper to the other instead of the twin bed setup. Let's get into how we did this and uh, yeah, show you how easy it was. All right guys, this is the stock configuration of the 15TB. Whether you have the ePro 15TB or the GeoPro, this is what you get. Twin size bed on this side twin size bed on this side and then they come together in the middle to make a king size bed. So this camper comes with a table that goes right down the middle here and it's kind of a big pain in the butt. It is heavy, it's cumbersome, it's hard to put up and take down and I didn't want a camper that I had to constantly set up the bed. We set out to find a way to make a permanent bed and to have a permanent table in case of those days that it's rainy outside, cold, whatever, too many bugs. And I didn't want to have to take down my table, put the bed back up again. So in this video, I'm going to show you what we did and how we did it. From the factory, the camper comes with these cleats right here. You can see these black cleats. They have Velcro on the top of them. And these two are usually mounted further up here. You can see the holes right there. And that's what the table slots down into and sits on. What I really wanted to do was set up a full-size mattress east to west here in the camper. The one issue with using a full-size mattress is you get a pretty small seating area here and here. After lots of trial and error, uh, we decided to use a full-size topper that we had already and cut it down a little bit. It wasn't much, it was just down to 52 inches. A regular full-size mattress is 54 inches. Basically, I took this set of cleats here and moved them from here to here. These supports are now 52 inches from that little tabletop there to the front right there. And that allows us to put our mattress east to west this way. So all I did was cut a piece of plywood to stick right here. So let me show you that real quick. So this is just a three quarter inch piece of OSB, three quarter inch thick OSB that I had in my garage. I cut it down to fit in the spot that the table would normally go. And then I stuck some Velcro on the bottom. You can see it there to stick to the little supports. So let me stick this in place here and I'll show you what it looks like. So from the front of the piece of wood here to the back, is 52 inches and again I just used some velcro on the supports and then on the bottom of the OSB to hold it in place. Now let me show you the piece of foam that we stick here in the middle. guys here is the bed all set up obviously with no sheets on it but you get the idea so what you see here is a three inch piece of memory foam and this is actually from Costco this is their Tempur-Pedic mattress topper it's kind of spindy but it's super super comfortable this is super nice it comes with this nice cover here this is a queen size topper we actually had this in the escapade and decided that we could reuse it in here. Basically what we did is we cut this thing down. So it's actually a queen size, like I said, so we had to cut a few inches off the end. You know, if it was a queen size here, it'd be, you wouldn't have anywhere to sit. So what did we use to cut down this piece of memory foam, might you ask? Just a Black & Decker electric knife. Got this from Walmart, really cheap. This is just a removable cover on the mattress topper. So I was able to take that off cut the foam to where I needed it. And then this topper, of course, isn't gonna fit again. 
So we just used some mattress clips there to kind of hold it on and it works just fine for us. Okay, so what about bedding? Nothing's gonna fit anything that's 52 inches, except there is, just go to Ikea. We actually bought some full size sheets that fit this pretty well. As far as the comforter goes, one of these bad boys from Ikea. This is actually a twin size comforter. Since this isn't a full size mattress, if you bought a full size comforter, you'd have a huge amount of extra. This twin size comforter fits perfectly. Let me splay this out and kind of show you what I mean. Again, this is just a twin size comforter from Ikea. I mean, we even have extra on this end and it's kind of bunched up a little bit on the other end there. But we just got the warm comforter. I don't even know if this is the warm one, but there you go. There's the little tag they give you. Twin size comforter, plenty for this size of bed. And then we actually bought two because if we get cold in the winter time, we just throw another one on top of it. And what do we do with the dog? His little bed actually fits right here in this seat. So he sits there very comfortably and then usually kind of takes over uh, in the middle of the night. Yeah, super simple setup. And what I love about this is it gives us tons of storage underneath there. We usually throw a basket with the dog stuff under there. I mean, it's cavernous down there. You can throw your shoes, you know, little blanket, another Costco item there, and shove it all in there. And uh, yeah, I have tons of storage. If you guys have seen my previous video, you see the lagoon table mount there. So the middle of that post is actually mounted at 52 inches. So it butts up right against the edge of that bed. Um, I'll leave a link in this corner here so you can check out the lagoon table mount. If you guys want to pick up this foam, that I stuck in the middle there. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And then I'll find some bedding and stuff, I guess, if you wanna buy it on Amazon. If you want to just buy a mattress topper on Amazon, I'll leave a link for one of those that'll fit in this space. What's great is we don't have to take the back or front cushions out. It fits right in between. Everything just kind of fits together. There you go. So you can see how the lagoon table kind of butts up to the mattress there. And a big benefit of this is you get a nightstand. You can swing this around. You can have breakfast in bed, set up a computer, do whatever. And then this will swing around and become a table. It's a very versatile system, much better than what I could have ever imagined. And uh, yeah, so don't pay too much attention to the tabletop there as a uh, I have that coming up in the next video. I'm gonna be putting an actual table here and it's gonna be kind of fancy with some hinges, hinge work and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that is a quick video on our bed setup in the ePro 15TB. If you find this video helpful, useful, please hit that like button, hit subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Again, I'll leave links for everything here. They are Amazon affiliate links. I'm sure you've heard this before. You don't pay any extra. You just help me out just a teeny little bit. I get like pennies or whatever. But if you guys have any more questions about the table setup, about, uh, about the bed, you know, anything else in the camper, please let me know down in the comments below, especially if you have any questions about the 15 TB. I'm really loving this camper. I know I made a video not too long ago about uh, why I may not like it, but man, this thing is just changing my mind. I have a lot of videos coming up. I'm going to be working on the fridge a lot and a bunch of other little mods here and there. So uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.